no cap on cam campaign contributions. So I, as a citizen of the state of Utah, and as a voter, felt like I got lip service, basically, from the legislature. They promised us reform. They gave us great recommendations, but they didn't give us meaningful reform. I believe it is time for the public to put pressure on the legislature because the governor can say, we want you to do this, but because of separation of powers, the governor can't force ethical reform. But I think if we as the public put pressure on the legislature and we say, it is time for you to reform or else we're gonna make sure that we make you do that by making it as an initiative and saying, we want reform. Because obviously 86% of the public that says, we want reform doesn't mean anything to them until we get it on the ballot. So I believe that it's time to change our culture. And, and I was thinking last night, doctors, lawyers, and people like me, teachers, have a code of ethics. Why doesn't our legislature have a code of ethics? If we're all held to a code of ethics, then so should our legislature. And I believe that you should support this initiative, that we should get the petitions out, we should get people signing it, and it's about time that we hold legislators up to the same lens as we hold up to everybody else. Thank you for your time. Um, let me just tell you very quickly that uh, in order to get this on the ballot, this is an initiative on the ballot, we need to uh, gather signatures. We have a couple of people who volunteered if you'd like to volunteer, um, we would welcome your help uh, or know anyone else who might like to. Just, I'll, I'll tell you very quickly that um, we need to have, I have to look at my notes, that we need to have um, ballot signatures equal to 10% of the number of voters who voted for the governor in the last gubernatorial election. And that also includes, we have to have 26 of the 29 Senate districts, is that correct? So, just so that you're aware of that. And it's, the signature gathering process is really pretty easy. Uh, we just have to be sure that there are registered voters who are signing the petition and that they did vote in the last election. Um, we have a target date that of about November 6th, but we can continue to collect signatures through April uh, in order to get this on the on the ballot next November. Okay, not this November, the following November. And so as soon as all the hearings across the state are held, then we can begin to collect, to collect signatures. And uh, so if you'd like to help us with that effort, please do so. Okay, we're going to take just a, a minute, answer any questions that, uh, that you have. You'll notice on the agenda that we have some ground rules for that. We just want to keep it civil, and I, I don't anticipate any problems here. Uh, each audience uh, comment or question is, is two minutes. We want to hold the time down. Um, so we can, and, and we don't want any disruption, disruptive actions. In other words, we don't want you to say.